it's Sandy Parker and welcome to crafting for almost everyone well before I show you how to make some great tie-dyed sneakers we're going to show you something that I got from my friend Betty she sent me this box first of all look how cool this is it's a it's a shaker and it's a flower that has little beads inside and she has that flower soft stuff on the top flower soft stuff you know the stuff I'm talking about it's called flower soft it's stuff. Anyway, it's so cool. Love that, Betty. Thank you. Then she made me this card. Oops, I took the belly band off of it. Hold on. I want to put it back on. Okay. This is what it looks like when it's really pretty. And then you take off the outer butterfly. And then you've got this box. And look at all the detail on this. Is this not gorgeous or what? Look how big it is. It's humongous. So pretty. Thank you, Betty. I will cherish that. Look at the flowers. Just gorgeous. I'll get that out of the way. Then she sent me this flower that she made herself, and she even sewed one of those little rosettes there. And she sent me some glow-in-the-dark dog paws, which I'll put on my dog collars. And she sent me these really cool, I don't know if you can see them, they're beads, but they're flower beads. Aren't they pretty? I'm definitely going to be using those on a project stone. I'm going to put those right there so I can use them. And then these flowers and more that I can make myself. And then she sent, this is the cool part. I can't wait to show you these. There, can you see? They're little wee teeny tiny things that you'd put candies on. Aren't they gorgeous? And then she sent me the little boxes that are like, um, I don't know what we call that, like a food basket, picnic, Kentucky Fried Chicken Basket, yeah, <laughs> not as big, but you got the idea, and then another one that says sweet on the side of it, and then she sent me these little um, enders that go either on the outside or the inside, I'm not sure how those go, but I know they go with these, aren't they cute, love them, she made me this tag, it says, um, if friends were like flower, or yeah, if it's I'm, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. If friends were like flowers, I'd pick you. And look at the beautiful little corners she put on that. Thank you so much. It's gorgeous. And then she sent me some stamps that said, even if there is nothing to laugh about, laugh on credit. So true. Got to do that. Thank you so much. I think that's everything Betty sent. Thank you so much, Betty. I will definitely be keeping the card in my box of cards. Drawer, box. You know I get confused by what, what a drawer or a box is. But thank you so much for all those goodies. It was so sweet of you. I have the best viewers. I'm so lucky. Okay, let's talk about how to do this. First thing you want to do is you want to get um, painter's tape or masking tape, some kind of tape that you can wrap around your shoe. And you're going to want some scissors and you're going to want some uh, markers, Sharpies. They have to be alcohol-based markers. So I pick vibrant colors because I'm a tie-dye girl from the 70s and that's how we did it back in the day. We had the bright, to bright, bright colors. So um, if you saw my pair of sneakers that I already showed, uh, that was a different pair than this and so we're going to have a whole different look. But anyway, bright colors are the key, I think. You want to wrap your tape around this top rubber part on the bottom of your shoe. So start in the, uh, on kind of the straight part. It's easier to kind of get your, get your uh, mojo going when you do it that way. See how you're going to wrap it and make sure that it's really tight up against that. See that? Then, when you come up to your first starting where it starts to curve, you're going to cut little snips, just little ones, because you're going to want to overlap anywhere that you have a curve in your sneaker. You need your, your um, tape to curve with it. And in this case, I just ripped it. Um, if, if you don't think you can uh, wrap it with the kind of uh, cut you've made in it, rip it like I just did. It, it's, it doesn't hurt it if you rip your, if you rip, sorry for a second, I've, I've got tape stuck to me. So I'm going to wrap this piece. You want to make sure you're on the plastic. You don't want to go on to the tennis shoe. You just want to be on the plastic part. So if you get on the, on the tennis shoe or the, you know, the 
canvas part. You just want to push it down like I just did with my thumb. Then you're going to take your, you're going to continue on. And when you get to any part that you need to cut with your scissors, all you do is you do just a little snip. You don't need a, a huge snip. And I'm going to snip in a few sections through here because this is the, the part that's tricky because it's the part that is the, the toe of the shoe. That's the part that you'll struggle with going around. And as you go around that tip, you just want to make sure that you're staying on that um, off of the canvas part and on plastic. Okay, I'm going to finish this and I want you to have to watch because it, well, I'm almost done, but um, I don't want you to have to be stuck watching this. I forgot one more thing that fell out of the box. I'm sorry about that. This is something else that Betty sent me. It has a little hang tag with the little uh, flower on it. That's so cute. Friends forever. Adorable. Thank you, Betty. Love all the things you sent me. Okay, let me tell you about the design we're doing on our sneakers. Now, in the 70s, there was really only one design on shoes or on anything, and it went like this. Are you with me? I hope you are. The thing is, is when you do that, you have to remember that your other shoe has to go in the reverse direction. So it's going to go like that. You with me? So that's important when you do that because you don't want two of the same foot. So just remember, you know, your, your pattern, I'm making it bigger so you can see it. This is how they need to go. I mean, obviously you want them to be the same size. I had a little malfunction there, but you just want to make sure that your shoe, that each shoe, your right shoe is this one. It looks like ears, kind of. This is an ear and that's an ear. So if you can remember what your ear looks like on the right side of your head and the left, that's how we're going for it. So um, the one last thing I wanted to tell you that you're going to need is... 91% um, rubbing alcohol, or, yeah, that's important, and some kind of dropper. I found this in the kids' medicine area of CVS, and it works really good. It uh, holds a lot of alcohol, so you'll need those that as, that as well, or some kind of uh, some kind of um, dropper, what you know, any kind of thing that you can drip alcohol along with. So that's what you're going to do. Now we're going to do our right shoe first. So I'm going to just kind of start. Oh, and you're going to put, I have a lot of um, paper, just white uh, junky paper, um, like um, the kind you get at the dollar store for little kids to color on. That's what I have in there. I don't have newspaper because I was afraid with the alcohol that the the um, writing would seep into the underneath and end up being on the top of my shoe. So I don't have um, colored paper. You could use plastic bags to shove in there, but you really want something in there, really shoved in there so that you have a good, tight image. And then the easiest way, I think, to do this is to kind of do like, um, I don't know what I'll call this, like a scribbly motion. And then I only went that far with my yellow. The thing I didn't think I did on the first pair is I didn't make my yellow um, deep enough. So I'm going to kind of go out further with the yellow on this one because um, I want to make sure that I get more more yellow on my shoe than I had the last time. There. That's all the further I'm going to go with that. Now we're going to start with this one. Remember, you're going to go the opposite direction. So you're going to start again in the center. I freaked myself out right there because all of a sudden it looked like my shoe was a lot bigger than the other one. I was thinking to myself, what's going on here? I hope it's not the fumes already. It doesn't really matter if your pattern is exactly the same on both shoes because it's gonna, it's really going to smear out when you put the alcohol on it. I just want to have more yellow than I had before. Okay, I'm done with my yellow. And then um, I did blue next so that I could have yellow and blue making green. So I'm going to go above it with the blue. I 
on the other pair I colored the shoelaces I have to be honest I didn't love the look of them I couldn't get the shoelaces to be as dark as I wanted them to be so I think these ones I'm just going to leave my shoelaces white you can have fewer colors if you only want a few colors you can do that I um, like the idea of having you know a quite a few colors so that's why I have five or six and I'm doing rainbow kind of colors the vivid colors work best for tie-dye if you've never tie-dyed before you're going to want to have vivid colors I'm going to at this point have Rich just speed up the camera <laughs> Okay, so I did both shoes, one while you were watching, one while you weren't watching, and when you get to this point, this is when you need to really make sure that your tape is really well secured, because it will come up as you're coloring, and you don't want it to do that because you really need it to be um, secure. I had some leak into my plastic bottom part of my shoe and uh, it didn't bother me but um, you know you if you're careful you won't have much of it going into the plastic so I'm just going to do one of these shoes while you're watching again and um, the easiest way is to just get your um, your uh, eyedropper and I start at the top and just start pouring it, squirting it down the shoe and you're just going to cover everything because that's how you're going to get everything, to, the colors to move and um, you're going to get, you know, when you have yellow and, and blue it'll turn green and your um, red and your blue should turn purple so um, you just want to make sure your whole shoe is basically drenched with alcohol and um, you will use quite a bit of alcohol on each shoe. I mean, uh, I probably used like part of a bottle, a third of a bottle maybe when I did my first pair. You want to make sure you get your tongue of your shoe well, um, you know, you're going to use the marker on it and then you're going to use the alcohol on it. See how it's bleeding, the orange is bleeding into the yellow. I'll, I'll pull that out more so you can see it in a second but I want to make sure I coat it first you want to get the back so here's what they look like right now they're wet and I'm gonna let them dry but you want to make sure like right now you're gonna pull your tongues up and if the tongues don't seem to be completely wet with everything you're gonna to want to put a little bit more alcohol or a lot on them too because you want everything to really be well saturated so that your colors will blend and look real frisky. So that's what mine look like now. And uh, oh, look how pretty my hands are. And that will be another problem you'll have is getting the alcohol off your hands. It's or the alcohol inks. It's very, very hard to get off. I used alcohol and I still had trouble getting it off. So um, that's just my. 
forewarning of you and make sure you have a lot of ventilation. You want your windows open. I would probably do this outside. If I wasn't doing it on video, I would have done it outside. I have a fan going and I have my window open, but still, this is very, very strong. And so I'm I'm forewarning you, please, please use a lot of ventilation or do it outside. It's much better for you if you do it outside. So that's where we stand right now. I'll be back after they're dry. So here's the first pair that I did and I did the the shoelaces. I had trouble with the shoelaces. I put them in a plastic bag and uh, put a lot of the dye on them or the marker on the shoestring and I put even more in the baggie with the alcohol and still they just didn't come out right so I thought with this pair I would just leave the shoestrings white so let me uh, string them up and I'll come right back so these are the ones I just made you can see how the yellow even though I had that really big yellow stripe how on this one it's almost gone I really like the way they came out though I think they're really frisky and so much different from the other pair I I think they're just a lot of fun it's a great thing for you to do this summer with your kids I think they'd be terrific for back to school and you can buy these shoes now on clearance everywhere so uh, I would really recommend it I thought it was so much fun and I'm going to be sporting these and uh, you might see me running around wearing them and I hope you give this a thumbs up and subscribe thanks so much for watching bye bye